Hi. Um, in this week's parsha, we change focus from what the uh, we usually focus on in the Torah. You know, we usually have a perspective from uh, on Bnei Israel and uh, from the point of view of Moshe, our own you know, Hashem, Bnei Israel, and we change to a new perspective to that of these people in Balak and uh, Bilam, and these people are not Jewish and. Uh, so uh, we open up this new uh, perspective that's uh, interesting to uh, look at and to learn a couple of things from. We are introducing this parsha is the character of Bilam. Well, Bilam, in interesting man, he, uh, he is blessed with the gift of Navua. And uh, this gift that uh, we haven't seen in ages is, uh, is one that you would expect to uh, make someone a great person. And yet what's interesting about Bilam is that while he has this great gift of Nivua, at the same time, he becomes this complete Russia that, um, that in Mission of Pirkei Avos describes, he's, he's this Russia and that there are, a couple people, there are two types of people in the world. There are those that are disciples of Bilam who are evil, opposed to the disciples of Avram who are good people. And so the, interesting, the question arises is, how could we have someone like Bilam who has Nivua, you know, similar to that of Moshe's, is, uh, is such a Russia, and yet we have Moshe on the other hand, who has, you know, Nevoah too, maybe better, but, and is, you know, possibly the greatest person to have ever lived. To answer this question, I um, think that we'd ha what we have to do is we have to analyze two types of characters and uh, their character traits and, you know, how they reflect on each other. So, you ha we will have to compare two people, one that is an achiever and one that is a lazy person. So who is an achiever? What is an achiever? What's special about him? He is a person that a, he has an obligation, he has a task that he has to do, and yet at the same time, he's not satisfied with it. He always takes upon himself more. He always wants to do more and take it to the next level, you know, do more than he has to do. And he does this all, not because he has to, obviously, he doesn't have to do all of it. Rather, he does it because he wants to improve himself and become a better person. While on the other hand, you have a lazy person and he's someone that does what he has to do when he has to, you know, you know, gets passing grades, you know, when his, whenever he has, his parents ask him to do something, he does it, but that does it, but that's it, you know, nothing more. And he's satisfied with that, doesn't want to do anything more, and doesn't care. And even when he does work, he doesn't do it to improve himself. He does it because, look, he has to get it over with. With this difference in character, I think we could answer the question of how Bilam was such a Russia compared to Moshe, who was such a Tzaddik. You know, Moshe, he is, he's the achiever. He is the person that Throughout his life, he is just not satisfied with the simple tasks, the uh, basic obligations he has. He always tries to do more and take upon himself more. You know, uh, you see this with uh, the Mitzri, who, uh, who's hitting the Jew, and uh, you see Moshe, he has an obstacle in his mind, a fear of putting himself in danger and killing the Mitzri and saving the Jew, yet he does it because he knows it's the right thing to do and he knows that, you know, he could just walk by, yeah, he's not obligated to do it, but it's the right thing to do and it'll make him a better person, it'll improve himself. And you see that also, uh, this idea by Moshe, when he's told by Hashem that he can't enter Eretz Yisrael, he still goes and he tries to do more mitzvot, and he tries to make uh, Ari Miklat, and, uh, and Eric he tries to set up Ari Miklat, you know, something he's not obligated to do, but he wants to do because he's interested in taking, taking more upon himself and improving himself and doing more work. He's, that's Moshe. Um, on the other hand, you have Bilam. He's the lazy person. Bilam is the person that only does things because he has to and only because he's required. And, you know, uh, you see this uh, in the story when uh, the Balak sends his messengers to him. Balak, he, uh, he, uh, the messengers come and they say, hey, Bilam, uh, come uh, curse Bnei Israel for Balak, he really wants you to. Bilam could have done the right thing and he could have said, no, get away, I, that's not what Hashem wants, I'm not going to do it. But no, Bilam, you know, he's lazy. He only does something when he knows 100% that he's obligated to do so. So he says, hey, you guys could stay the night, I don't know yet. If Hashem tells me tonight in my sleep, you know, that, uh, that I can't, then I can't and, and I won't and you guys will have to leave. But if I can, then I'll go with you. He gives a similar response a second time, you know. Messengers come around and he, yeah, he gives him a little uh, response to them, says, no, I'm not going to do it. But he says, oh, stay the night, we'll see. And you see this, you, you see, what does Bilam do? He, he waits for the specific obligation to do something before doing it. You know, he knows it's not right. You know it's not right to curse B'nai Israel, yet he waits uh, specifically for, um, uh, B'nai, for Hashem to tell him that he can't do it. And uh, so perhaps this is why he is considered a Russia, you know, and, and how he became a Russia despite having a war from Hashem. He is, you know, 
it's not, a, a Russia isn't only a person like Haman or whatever who's like born, basically born into being a horrible person and just cares about himself. Either a person can become a Russia by just, you know, not caring and, you know, not caring about being a better person and, you know, uh, and only doing things because he has to and not trying to improve. And, uh, you, you know, it's like uh, what they say about life, that life is, uh, is like walking on an escalator that's going down, that, you know, uh, you, if you stop, you're just going to go backwards, that if you don't try to improve, you're going to become a bad person. You're going to just become worse and worse, and you could become a Russia. So hopefully we could take that and uh, apply that to our lives and learn a great lesson that we should keep uh, pushing ourselves, and it's good to challenge ourselves and uh, have a great job. Oh